How's it going guys and welcome to the last video of this current season on uh, the Chelsea Saving Championship Manager 0102 and um, since the last game which was in the League Cup final um, we've had some uh, mixed games and I'll quickly run through them. Um, the first game after that was against Aston Villa in the UEFA Cup semi-final first leg and we won that 1-0 and then we had a 1-1 draw against Liverpool in the league. And then we had a 2-1 defeat against Fulham. But after that, we won Aston Villa 4-2 in the second leg. And that was a really good win for us. Aston Villa uh, played some decent football, though. And then we had a 1-1 draw against Middlesbrough. A 3-0 defeat against Arsenal. They've beat us twice this season. Just a great squad they've got. And then we had a 2 3 nil wins in a row against Derby County and Bolton. And then we beat Leicester City last time out 2-1. So we did some form going into today's final against Milan, but we'll be also playing in the last, you know, the last game of the season against West Ham. Um, I'll speak more about the players' performances over the season after this, but quickly let's just look at the table. Um, Arsenal are the champions, and I think they also won the FA Cup. Yeah, they did. So they've, they've won the FA Cup. And the league, so they are basically the best team in England. Let's put it that way on this season. So let's see if we can have some bragging rights in Europe winning UEFA Cup. I don't know who's in the UA, um, the Champions League final. Two secs. Um, right, what's going on here? Who's going to Premier League, Arsenal fixtures? Okay, Champions League. Okay, so it's going to be Real Madrid and Roma in the final. I've just seen if they were an English team there. So they will be playing Roma at Hampden Park on the 22nd. Okay, um, I'll show you the squad we'll be using for today's game against AC Milan. So that's a strong squad. That's as strong as we possibly can get at the moment. Um, and another thing is, which is not funny, I mean, God. Um, but, we, you know, we signed Deco. And literally in the first week of him being here, he fractures his skull. At the time, that was three months, uh, four months out, and it's just currently three months. So that's really unlucky. He only played like one game and one substitution appearance for us, and then he fractures his skull. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, so let's go into today's game. Let's look at the Milan lineup. Oh. Shevchenko, Inzaghi, Sergino. I just remember him being really fast, Sergino. Uh, Rui Costa, Gattuso, um, Umit Daval, Maldini, Martin Larson, uh, Roque Jr. Did he used to play for Leeds United? I'm sure he did. And Contra and Abiati, who has, he was actually still playing for Milan. So, you know, he's been a great servant to the club. Um, against our lineup, but I've already showed you that. So let's kick it off. In fact, let's go into team instructions. I'm going to go attacking, mixed. Why not? So let's kick off. Oh, Milan's got straight away. Shevchenko. Okay. I'm saying the last few games where I've been going attacking and mixed. Uh, we've had some success going. Okay, 29 minutes. Forty minutes gone. God, can we equalise right before half time? No, we don't. Um, tactics. <coughs> okay. I'm gonna bring on Good Johnson for Asshole Bank. Gronkar for Zenden. Team instructions: normal, direct, hard. Contact on. Okay, let's go. We start match. Come on, let's see if we can do this. But I mean, eh. Uh, and the score again within two minutes of the second half. Okay, so in fact, 
looks like we've lost in our second final. And we have. I think next time, if we're playing a really important game, I'm going to have the commentary speed a bit slower because that went so fast there. So we lost against Milan, 2-0. Uh, Shevchenko, let's look at his stats there. Oh, God, look at him. What a monster. Man. So, we will go into the West Ham game, which is an important game for us to finish in, hope for the top five. So I'll quickly pause it and get back to you. And I'm back, guys. Um, going into today's game against West Ham. Last game of the season, of course. So if we can finish in the top five, and I've been in two finals, obviously losing both of them, that's a pretty good season for the first season, in my opinion, especially with the Chelsea team of that era. Um, next season, I will hopefully bring in stronger players and uh, maybe challenge for a Champions League place. So let's go into the game against our rivals, West Ham. And hopefully get a nice win. Or young Jermaine Defoe playing for them. Who's just come back to Sunderland. Um, current day. And we scored Zenden. Oh by the way Arteta. is coming. Um, I bought him from uh, Barcelona. I think his contracts were expiring. Or he was transfer, list, transfer listed by request. I bought him for like less than a million. Which is not a bad buy. Because he's got some decent talent. And he's only 20 currently on this game. Okay, 70 minutes gone. Let's quickly look at the tactics because it is important. Um, and look at the league table. So we're still fifth. Middle split. Okay, match overview. Let's just continue until it goes to the tactics. Okay, let's put routine defence in midfield. Right, resume match. That's what I've been doing when we're trying to hold on to a lead, put him in a more defensive role. Okay, eight fifth minute. And I've tried to sign Michael Carrick as well, but I don't know if I'll be able to get him. Anyway, we finished fifth. Let's look at the news. Okay, the players with us, we're awarded four million. Finishing fifth, which is nowhere near as much as you get these days, pull it that way. But let me just have a little overlook of the team and uh, who's played well. I think... The best play for us this season was probably Zola. You know, overall, just amazing. Scoring 23 goals, 9 assists, 6 player of the matches or man of the matches. And for him being 35 at the time, that's just insane. He was a great player for us. And I always remember Zola being good for me on the old um, championship managers. Um, Petit has also been a great player for midfield. More of a defensive midfielder, but he's played 50 times for us this season. Scoring 11 goals, 20, 21 assists. I mean, that's just insane, you know. And four man of the matches, a 78% uh, pass rate. But that 21 assists, that is just out of this world. Um, I think how I'll be strengthening the team would probably be um, in midfield. Or shall I say, just one or two players. I've got Deco, but he's still like a new player. Up front, I'll be strengthening it because with Mario, was like 36 now. I think it'll cool it off to have him playing for us for a little bit. But I'm going to try and sell him on. And hopefully bring in a young striker that is still playing uh, modern day football. But that's going to be hard to do that. Um, and maybe a central defender, or left back or right back. Just depending on what we can do. I don't know if to keep Cudicini in the net because he's letting a lot of goals. Um, maybe bring in a, a decent goalkeeper with the money we've got. We've currently got 13 million funds. I don't know if we'll be getting given any more uh, next season. So that's going to be interesting. Um, thanks for watching this first season, guys. I really appreciate it. Highly recommend you downloading this game. Like I've said in previous videos, I will leave the link down below in description. 
uh, the link to the free downloadable copy of this game. It'll work perfect for me so far, no problems. And if you need any help um, setting it up, just let me know in the comments. So thanks for watching, guys, and take care.